What's up everyone, welcome back, Patrick here. And in this question, what we gotta do is graph this function. So we got y equals five minus the square root of three minus three x. Now this is in a bit of a weird format, but hopefully you could tell from this function that the parent function is the square root function, the square root of x. And to get it into the format that we're more used to, what we can do is we can take this positive five here and then bring it over to the end. So we'd have negative square root of three minus three x plus five, like that. This is a positive five, right? When it comes over here, and then that negative stays there. There's like a negative one in front there. And then from here, notice that this square root here, we can rearrange this like that. And then, Remember, we want to have that k value by itself. And now we got it in that nice transformation format, that general transformation format. So we could tell, notice that the a value is negative 1, the k value is negative 3, the d value is positive 1, remember it's the opposite sign, and then the c value is positive five. So now what we could do, since we have the transformation values, we can take the parent function. Let's plot some points here. Uh, one, one, four, two, and then nine, three. And we could take these points on the parent function, and then we could transform them with these transformation values. So remember, what's the formula? x over k plus d a y plus c. So all these x values, we're going to divide by the k value of negative 3. And then we're going to add the d value, which is positive 1. All of the y values are going to multiply by negative 1. And then we're going to add the c value of 5. So this table here is going to be the table for this transformed function. So notice 0 divided by negative 3 plus 1, that would give us 1. 1 divided by negative 3 plus 1 would give us uh, 2 over 3. And then 4 divided by negative 3 would be negative 4 over 3 plus 1 would give us negative 1 over 3. And then 9 divided by negative 3 would give us uh, negative 3. And then plus 1 would give us negative 2. And then here, 0 times negative 1 plus 5 would give us 5. 1, negative 1, that would give us 4. Uh, this would be 3, and then this would end up just being 2, like that. Right, so if we take these points, let's try to keep it as to scale as possible. So what I'm going to do, all the y values are positive, so let's do that. We'll have one, two, three, four, five. And then the x values, let's go up by halves. So we'll do negative or uh, 0.5, negative 0.5, one, negative 1.5, negative two. Then we'll have um, 0.5, and then one, like that. I think that's all we need. So then we'll have one and five, which would be up here. Now remember, the one and five is coming from the zero and zero. Remember the zero and zero, that's the vertex of that square root function. So we know this here is going to be the vertex. Then we'll have two over three and four. So two over three, which would be like um, over here. And four, and then we'll have negative one over three, and three, that would be like over here. And then we'll have negative two, and two, that would be like over here. So connecting these, it basically looks like that. So we took that square root function like this, put it through these transformations, we ended up with that final graph.